Hi, I'm Susie from Nail Care Education. Did you know there's spray glitter? Well, there is, and I'm going to show you some ways to use it. Let's get started. I've created these beautiful stiletto nails, so I'm going to use them as my canvas today. I've painted a beautiful color. This color is 202, the exclusive nail couture. That's the color. I love that. You can see it right in the tip of the bottle. Okay, and these are my beautiful spray glitters. Now, Magnetic, who's given me these colors, has 10 colors. Here's an assortment of them. These swatches, in my opinion, don't do the product justice. So even though it gives us an idea of what they have, putting it on a nail solid on there is really very effective and it makes it look so beautiful. You're going to love this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to put those aside. I'm going to bring in my steady, stable platform. This gel application I already have on is cured, but we do want the spray to adhere to a sticky surface. So we are going to put on a top coat. Oh, I'm going to put on my glasses. I can see everything. It's just the fine detail. That's what I need these for. So any gel top coat will do. You can use a base and top as well, and that would be for natural nails as well. You can do this on natural nails. Just make sure you use a base coat. I'm going to do the full nail. So I'm going to put a nice thin layer of my gel on top of this whole nail. When I go back into the bottle, I'm actually getting rid of some so it's not too thick. I'm not adding. Okay, so I'm going to choose this color and this one's called the Hologram Lilac color. I really like it. They also make it in a little pot glitter so you can just pick it out rather than spraying it. But they put it in the spray bottle which is really cool. Now it's a bit messy. It does spray everywhere but it sure is pretty. Oh, I want to give it a good shake. Which I like. I like to shake everything. Woo! Look at that. Look at the coverage on that. That's beautiful. Wow, is that easy? Oh, hey man, you like glitter. I do actually, yep. Okay, you can leave it as a textured glitter. You do want to nuke it. And you want to give that a 30 second nuke, whatever your top coat requires. Even if you leave it as a textured glitter, you still have to cure it, right? Okay, so after 30 seconds, then it's all cured and you can just brush the glitter away. Wow, look at that. And if you feel it, you can feel that it's textured and it's, it's on there. Okay, so here's something else you can do. Now, keeping in mind, the glitter sticks to whatever is sticky. So I thought I would do this one in style of a French and I thought of doing the smile line, but I think I'm just going to do like a triangle. In other words, right from the corner of my finger, I'm going to swipe it right down. other side. And hopefully that's even. It's hard to tell when it's not a color. But I'm gonna have to trust myself and hope that it relatively even. Oh, it's already off. Okay. Again, it'll just stick to the sticky parts. Fine, you don't want to get too fine a detail with your design because sparkle, you know, it, it's glitter, it's broken up a bit, it's not a solid line, so it's harder to really to nail down a specific um, fine detail design. So I'm just going to nuke that guy. I didn't do too bad for that pointy smile. Okay, and look at that. I'll just wipe away the sparkles. Oh, they're not coming off that one so easy wash them up. Look at that. That is super pretty. So then I thought Magnetic has a one coat gel color. This one's black and I'm going to use it to paint a design on and then spray it on and then it'll just soak up the stuff that we painted. I'm using black because it is really easy to see when you're doing fine detail. If you're using a clear it's really hard to see. Okay so I'm just going to go in and get some this black high pigmented color gel. I think I just go with like a, actually I'm gonna make it bigger and try to make it a solid so you can really see it with the glitter on it, right? So 
I'm just trying to paint as perfect a circle as I can, which is easier said than done. Make sure that it's solid to fill up any gaps because the glitter again will only stick to what it finds. I am kind of painting this upside down so I hope it turns out. I'm not sure what you're making. Uh, I think I know. Steering wheel. I knew it. I was just going to say it's not a steering wheel. <laughs> That's cute. That's a popular symbol from the 60s. Yeah, it should be popular again, shouldn't it? Okay. Now I'm going to put this away because I'm going to spray everywhere. I don't want to spray into my black. Okay, so I'm going to spray it. And of course, the sticky gel will absorb all my spray. Beauty. It is, isn't it? Isn't that cute? I'm gonna have fun with the thumb, I think, being my test nail. It seems to be working out that way, isn't it? 30 seconds. Look at that. That's so cute. That turned out pretty good. Not a perfect circle, but it's cute. I don't really know what to do. I kind of had some crazy ideas for the thumb, but I'm not sure what I should do with the pinky. So maybe I'll just do it on an extreme angle, and the thumb I'm gonna get a little jiggy. Okay, I just want a little bit on here. Let me see if I can, I know, maybe we'll just kind of do a couple, like, almost like super wide stripes. That might look kind of cool. This is hard over here in the corner. But I'll just take it away from the. Yeah, just wipe that away. It's hard because it's a little finger, right? With a giant brush. I really needed to get in there. Okay, now because it's clear, it's hard to see if I really did that very well. So let's just spray it and we'll find out. Yeah, that worked out. I love it. See, sometimes you can just think of stuff on the spot. Sometimes planning is just not as fun. Okay, I'm gonna nip that bad boy. A viewer wrote in and said, cameraman, shake the camera twice if you're being held hostage. That's adorable. That's pretty funny. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Well, we've got quite a creation on here, don't we? So for the thumb, I think I'm going to try something a little bit more artsy. But the thumb is the tester. The thumb is where we can get a little jiggy. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Oops! That's one thing I like about gel. You can easily fix those boo-boos. Maybe it's just better with sparkle. <laughs> Sparkles makes everything look great. I think so. I don't know if it's wonderful, but I think it's a lot better. I think that's all right. It's just a design. Let's go with it. So we want to do a 30 second cure. Okay, now we do have an option at this point to put a top coat on to make it a non-textured, but I'm thinking maybe I'll just leave it like this. Yeah, let me clean up the cuticles and let's pick up the reveals.
Those reveals are beautiful. In fact, I like them so much, I'm gonna do the blue. Let's check out those reveals too. Well, you can't go wrong with glitter, can you? Thank you, Nadia, for dropping these off for me to try. Nadia is offering a discount code for you. You'll find the details below. I'll see you in the next video. Hey!